Hey everyone, uh, got Pinball FX3 set up. Thought we'd do a quick uh, look at it. So I have it set up now with, uh, I had to remap my controls. I was using uh, just the game inputs before and I had to remap that through Joy to Key for Pinball FX because uh, I couldn't remap the controller settings. Um, so anyway, I'll go through that in just a second. But I've got, you know, visual pinball set up in Pinball Popper uh, along with all the back glasses and everything. And then I also have Pinball FX set up through Steam. And I've got all the tables. I uh, purchased all of them uh, a while back. I think the only one that's not in the setup is the brand new Indiana Jones table. Uh, but I also got the... <clears throat> The back glasses, uh, the animated back glasses set up uh, from the collection. Uh, I followed Nailbuster's guide uh, from Pinup Popper, and he, you know, walks through basically how to set up Pinball FX in Pinup Popper and get the animated back glasses set up and all that kind of all that jazz. So I just I followed his guide. Got it all set up. It works great. <laughs> the back glasses are, are beautiful. Uh, let's we'll go into a table real quick. The performance on the machine has been fantastic. Uh, I've got a Ryzen 9 3950X with 64 gigs of RAM and uh, a RTX 2080 Super. The, uh, pimp, the flipper latency seems really, really good. I uh, have no problems with that at all. Performance is good, and these tables play great. In fact, I, I, this is this has become this is like my favorite now at the moment. <laughs> I do like. Uh, I do like VPX a lot. Uh, VPX plays really well. Uh, looks fantastic. Latency's good. Everything's everything's great there. But uh, these uh, these FX3 tables, man, they just they play really great. Uh, so I've been really happy with that performance. Like I said, has has been really good. Uh, but. I'm going to exit out of here and uh, I'm going to show how I got the Joy to Key stuff set up to get Pinball FX running because it was a, a little odd, some of the setup that I needed to do there. Uh, so let me jump out of here real quick. I'll grab a keyboard too. I'll bring the uh, I'll bring the camera closer in a second. Uh, so let me get this open. All right. Grab the camera. Okay. So enjoy the key. The way it detects it when it's hooked up, everything is under, at least on mine, I assume it's the same on everyone's, but everything's under joystick two. And when you're in here, uh, enjoy the key. If you if you press a button, like it'll, you know, it highlights it in green. So that's how you know what you want to map it to. Uh, so first one I had to find was the plunger. So by pulling the plunger, it's stick to right. And so I mapped that to enter. I map the right flipper to right shift and the right nudge to right control. And then I did the left flipper to left shift and left control for the, uh, uh, for the nudge button. And then I mapped back to escape <clears throat> and I mapped the front nudge to Y. And I did that so that in the Williams tables in Pinball FX, I can turn off the, uh, extra effects. Some of the tables I don't like the extra effects. Some of them are okay. Uh, so anyway, so I did that. I did not map anything 
uh, for these two buttons. Uh, I just left them as game inputs. And I did that because in uh, Visual Pinball, there's a couple settings uh, that I used there, and it was it was causing me some trouble uh, when I was in Pinup Popper. So in Visual Pinball, I mapped those. So basically, all the keys are like they normally are, right? You know, it's uh, left flippers, left shift, right flippers, right shift. I did change Magna Save to Z and slash, um, and I changed nudge to left control, right control. Uh, by default in VPX, those are backwards. And I wanted to have the left and right nudge because I don't have the, the accelerometers not working yet. Uh, in OTG, I if I push the cabinet around, I can't get it to trigger any inputs in the game pads. So I don't know if it's being passed through OTG or not. Uh, so anyway, I map forward nudge to Y, so that front nudge button uh, works for, for Y in VPX, because I didn't need it for anything else. And escape will just exit the emulator. Uh, and I disabled the plunger uh, here, so that it wasn't messing with the, the way it works now with the enter key. And did the same thing in uh, Visual Pinball GL64. Uh, which I use for the 10.8 tables. And that's pretty much it, uh, other than you need to do a little bit in Pinball Popper as well. Uh, in Pinball Popper for the controller setup, you just have to go through here, double click each one of these that you want uh, and map it however you want it. Um, I did um, game next to right arrow and game previous to left arrow, so that makes the flipper buttons control it. And then I use the menu select key uh, as in, you know, as enter, so that that you know, if you want to go into a table or play a table, you just hit the uh, start button on the front. That's, but you can either pull the plunger, so the plunger is mapped to enter. Or you can hit that little play, you know, button. And I did that through the menu select alt, just down here at the bottom. So that's mapped to that front key. And that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, that that's all the controls mapped up. Uh, and then once you have all that, then it'll all just work. Uh, and I made sure that I set join a key so that it only shows up here in the taskbar and doesn't you know, it's not running on the on the passport on there. So you, if you hit Alt Tab or something, it doesn't. It's not included in the uh, Alt Tab list, so that makes it nice and clean. And that's just a setting and join a key. Uh, but that's it. Um, and then I added join a key and the uh, the pinup popper front end to the startup. So whenever the machine boots, it just automatically logs in, and it just goes straight to here. Um, you can edit the, the playlist in in Pinup Popper. Um, so I put Adam's Family on the root, and it's the only game on the root. That way, when it when it boots up, it just goes straight to Adam's Family, and it sits there. And then you just have to push the flippers to select you know any other table by going under the different emulators. But uh, anyway, that's the way I did mine. But to each his own. All right. I hope that helps someone. Have a good one. Bye.